millions of people are excluded from the mainstream economy. They cannot get jobs, afford an education, and many fall into debt. This happens all over the world, from Spain to Sudan. It is a global problem. More than 120 million people in the EU live in poverty or risk social exclusion. It is worse globally. The latest World Bank statistics indicate that over 2 billion people live on less than $2 a day. Economic inequality is the greatest barrier to human development. But something is changing. People want economies that prioritise human and environmental needs. In Ethiopia, Mesret and her family were struggling to survive on their farm. She joined a saving and credit cooperative, saving a few cents a week. Eventually, she was able to take out her first loan from a revolving fund. She rented land and bought seeds. Income from selling her produce allowed her to pay back the loan. She also saved more, meaning more local people could benefit from the cooperative. This credit cooperative empowered Mesret, giving her not only economic independence, but autonomy and decision-making powers at home and in her community. Take Franco from Italy. He was abandoned by his parents because he had an intellectual disability. His childhood was spent in a mental institution. Eventually, he moved to a farming cooperative for people with disabilities. He gained skills and confidence and started to work on the farm. He now has a job in the co-op's restaurant, taking pride in his work and living happily with a family who love and value him. These stories show how people can be stronger together in the social and solidarity economy. Social and solidarity economy is an alternative way of understanding the economy. It puts people at the centre. It is universal, which means it is relevant to everyone, everywhere. SSE has become an increasingly important part of all our lives. Through fair trade, social enterprise, ethical banks, credit unions and cooperatives. It is transformative because it values people's needs, abilities and contribution. Profits are reinvested. The objective is sustainability. We are a group of young people from Greece, Italy, Ireland, Slovenia, Spain and Portugal. After the financial crisis in our countries, we began a campaign called Challenging the Crisis. We want to get social and solidarity economy on the political and economic agenda of the European Union. Will you help us? SSE demands a fairer global economy. This year, 2015, is crucial as the Sustainable Development Goals are being approved by governments across the world. These global goals are a set of targets identified by governments and civil society across the world that will affect how we tackle issues like poverty, inequality and climate change for years to come. Goal 8 aims to promote a sustained, inclusive and sustainable economy, full and productive employment and decent work for all. SSE does just this because it tackles the root causes of poverty and inequality creating fair and sustainable human development for everybody, everywhere. So in this important year, what can you do to make the world a fairer place? Ask your elected representatives how they will contribute to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Join your National Action 2015 group to raise awareness of the Sustainable Development Goals. Support social and solidarity economy activities like fair trade and ethical finance. Sign our youth petition for a European Year for SSE. We want social and solidarity economy on the economic and political agenda in Europe. And remember, change the economy, think social.